This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. There, love. Hi, sweetheart. I've seen you. Who's cute? You don't know. My name's Jackie. I am 45 years old, and I live in Belfont, Pennsylvania. I have two beautiful boys, Caleb and Blake, who, of course, mean the world to me. <laughs> Growing up, my mom really just wanted to make sure that me and Kayla knew that she cared and that she would always be there for us. My daughter, Jackie, was a great nurse. She loved her job. She loved taking care of people. She was good at it. Come here. I love you. Now Jackie is as low as she can possibly go. And my mother is an alcoholic. Her alcohol addiction has overtaken my memory. The only memory that I have is my mom sitting on the couch with a glass of wine in her hand. She loves white wine. She said it's just like heaven on earth. I drank two bottles like this yesterday and then a box which is almost like instant little keg in your fridge. She's not a happy drunk. She gets very mean. You're treating me like a child. Alcohol now is a part of her physical makeup. She has to have that alcohol in there in order to function. This pile here is Bill's. They've been laying there. I actually got this certified the other day. I had to sign for it. I did not open that up yet. I don't pay for, for some of the things that I should be paying for because I'm afraid that I'm going to run out of money for wine. She's going to drink herself to death. She's my baby girl. And to think that we could lose her because of alcohol uh, it, it just, it, it, it tear, tears me apart. Jackie was our first child, and everyone was just crazy over her. Jackie was the, the spunky, outgoing one. I think that we had a regular, normal childhood. Growing up, she was the cool sister. We had a typical American family. All my kids had good grades. They were wonderful children and a lot of joy with them. I hate to say this because I love my dad, but my dad truly was never there. If he wasn't working, he was, you know, at the bar. I'm a uh, Vietnam vet. I was a door gunner in a helicopter in Vietnam. I seen death, destruction, and killing. So trying to forget that, I. I turned to drinking. I remember worrying about him and thinking, OK, is this the second or third night my dad's not been here? And I would lay there in bed and think, oh, god, I hope he didn't wreck, or I hope he's OK. The family that I love to go and have dinner with just fell apart. I met Jackie through a mutual friend, and we started dating. He was a high school wrestler, and she was a cheerleader for the wrestling team. And that was probably one of the happiest times I remember her. He was a nice guy. He was calm and laid back, a good catch. I thought we were a good match. We dated for so long. I mean, it was off and on seven years. When Jackie got her RN, I would say it was a big deal. Patients loved her. Her coworkers loved her. I was very proud. We all were. That was a great accomplishment. Jackie's life did look wonderful. She was a good mother. Her and Kayla both seemed happy. I realized early on in my marriage that I didn't feel that I was as happy as I should be. I knew he was going to be a good dad, but I think at one point, I almost became jealous of the kids. Like, why don't you want to spend time with me? Like, what's wrong with me? Jackie told me she asked him for a divorce, and Caleb wouldn't give it to her. He said no. I thought it'd be better if we just stayed together and worked it out, got through it. I was trapped. So she just decided to stay and live with it. And I think that's when she started drinking. If she wasn't happy in life, then that's what she did. She would drink. 
Drinking made everything seem just a little bit better. But when the drinking started, everything just got worse, progressively worse. I can recall Jackie showing up at sporting events for our children intoxicated. I would find bottles of wine stuffed in behind her sweaters in the closet. Jackie was the epitome of a functioning alcoholic. I started thinking it was OK to get in my vehicle and drive. Her explanation to me was, I made her drink. She was that unhappy. So after being married 18 years, we finally got a divorce. After Jackie's divorce, things did not get better. Jackie has lost just about everything she ever had because of her addiction. My mom chose a lot of things over Blake and I. One being alcohol, she chose that over us. And I feel kind of betrayed in a way. You gonna be at my graduation this week? Yeah. Well, what time do you guys have to be there Saturday? Uh, 10.30. Oh, you have to be there at 10. I figured you'd have to be there a little earlier. She said she would make it to my graduation, but I don't believe her. She's usually drunk when she wakes up. Thank you. But every day, I wish I could have her back to where she, where she used to be. It's terrible. It sucks. As she's picking a glass of wine over me. It just concerns me what it's doing to your body. It's fine, Marie. I'm just looking out for you. I'm good. Not <laughs> right now, you're not. Well, I am. How are you going to be tomorrow morning? I'm going to be fine. She's drunk. And if she continues drinking, I won't allow her to go to graduation because she can't go and embarrass her son in front of his whole entire class and family. Counting on you. What you're saying here tonight. I know. Well, so what's going to go wrong? <laughs> then her friend was texting her. She used to date him when we were teenagers. And before I knew it, they were in the bedroom. And I was out here. And I had to sit and listen to it. Jackie. And he's still here. And she's still sleeping. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to get her up and ready to go to graduation or not. Hey. Hey. Jackie needs to get up. You ready? Goodbye. Bye. You need to start getting ready. What time is my dad coming? 9.45. Today is her son's graduation from high school. And if I wasn't here with her this morning, she would still be in that bed sleeping and not even worrying at all about making it to her son's graduation. I'm anxious about seeing my ex-husband, who I despise. I just want to getting drunk and not go to this, but I can't. Well, I hope it goes well. My relationship with Jackie today is probably the best it's ever been. Because at this point, she needs me, and I want to help her. You ready? Watching him graduate was, like, overwhelming seems like yesterday that he was just a baby and he was hanging off my leg. So when I look back, I see a lot of wasted years. Love you, babe. I haven't been what a mom's supposed to be because of my drinking. Wait, one more. Oh my, God. my ex and I did not make eye contact today. We took a picture with the kids and I. It smiles. And we all smiled and we all looked happy and that was it. Caleb actually thanked me for coming to his graduation, even though that's something that a mom should normally do. He knew it was difficult for me to get there, and I got there, but I'm so glad I could just leave. <clears throat> Dear mom. My sole purpose for being here is to help you get better. It's been a long time since you've been happy. Your addiction has been keeping you from succeeding and making us happy. 
I still remember all the good left in you that's made an impact on everyone in this room. I want this addiction to end for all the bad memories to go away. Even though I love you more than life itself, I can't stand being around you and watching you destroy your liver and slowly killing yourself. I miss you, Jackie. I miss you so much. Your family misses you. Your beautiful sons miss you so much. I know you love us as much as we love you. Now it's time for you to show that love. Can I have a joke? <laughs> Mom, you need to do this. You need to go through with this. We all love and care about you. We want you to get help. Jackie, will you go to treatment with me today? Today? Today. Like right now? Today. Mm -hmm. We've got everything taken care of. Don't worry about a thing. And you're going to go away and get well for yourself and for your family. This could very well be your last chance to live. OK? You're going to California. Long it's a long flight. And yeah, we're going to take care of you. You're going to be traveling with a nurse. And we got your back, baby. OK, trust me, we got your back. Is that a yes? Good. Good. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, <laughs> today was probably the greatest feeling I have for the past few months. I am feeling very good about the future for the first time in a long time. It's good, and I want to be that person. You know, I don't want to go back to what I was.